Right, the statement of progress for the period ending January 15th. Do you think you and Robinson get copies of that one in time? Oh, great, thanks. I want just as firmly identified with the foundation as possible and anything solid that we can throw the press is all for the good. Okay, thanks, Michelle. I'll see you shortly. Bye. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you, baby? Mm -hmm. Busy, huh? Yeah. You, that if she gets a little bit fussy, her latest favorite thing is a banana that you let her peel by herself, only I forgot to send one along. Oh, God bless you. And listen, uh, could you just keep an eye out to make sure that she isn't tugging on an ear? Great. Thank you. Bye. These have to go back to the library on our way. Oh, how do I get myself into all of this? What, babe? Motherhood, Justice's Campaign, College Life, the Foundation, which? Any of it, except for motherhood, that much I know. The rest of it is all the same. You ask for it. Not this campaign manager thing I didn't. That was your idea. You love it. You love the pace. <laughs> you love the, the confrontation. You love getting up in the faces of those big guys at City Hall. Mm, there hasn't been a big guy at City Hall since you were the mayor. You sweet talker. What are they going to do? Are they going to dump on Councilman Ward or what? Well, let me at him. I am ready for a real dog fight. Let's go. Hey, Let's honey, go. your sister's next door with Maureen. There's a snack for you in the fridge. We're going to go to the foundation then I don't know how long. No problem. i got plenty to keep me busy. Great. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. speculating about uh, raising the stakes. Give us a chance to get even. Got a problem with that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Heck no. It just means I'll be taking on that much more, Harper. <laughs> <laughs> Brief, firm, and non-apologetic. That's what you want to go for. No, don't worry about that. I'm not in the habit of apologizing when I don't have anything to apologize for. Oh, the old man just weaseled in. <sighs> Excuse me a moment. What would Edward want? See if any money fell out of somebody's pocket? Things are brightening up. I got it straight. What a coincidence. So do I. Ace high. Huh? <laughs> All right, fellas, uh, Andy. I'm a little short. It's no problem. The credit's been good before. Do you want to uh, raise the stakes? Help you get even? Yeah. Give me 500. All right. <laughs> yeah. I hate to interrupt. We've lit the fires. Come on, Councillor. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for being here. I am Laura Spencer, campaign chairman for Councilman Justice Ward in the special election. You will all be given a text of his prepared remarks after he speaks, and of course, your chance to address your questions to him. You will also be given a statement concerning the Charles Street Foundation and its remarkable contributions to this community, as well as to the city as a whole. And I'm sure you don't need to be reminded that Councilman Ward was very instrumental in establishing this foundation and in leading it through its first very challenging year in operation. So without further comment, 
I give you a man that I am very proud to know and to support in office, Councilman Justice Ward. Something is amiss. Ladies and gentlemen, something is amiss. You shouldn't have to be here, and neither should I. I believe that this gathering is a, a drain on our energy and a, a waste of time that could be better spent putting our energy to a much better purpose, that being making Port Charles a better place to live for all of us. All right. All right. Now, I'm here to tell you that these allegations of impropriety that have been made against me are outright lies. They are lies born of desperation. They are lies born of fear. It is a sad attempt by backroom politics at an old-fashioned smear campaign to to destroy someone who is trying to affect change, change that could diminish their power, change which could, could stop this gravy train, this free ride that they've been taking at the expense of this community. See, they don't have anything legitimate on me, so what do they do? They propagate lies, they propagate gossip, innuendo. Excuse me, uh, Councilman, that's all very moving, but rather vague. Are you willing to name your detractors? Well, Ms. Bowles, I don't think that I have to. Not if you take a long, hard look at the mayor and his city hall cronies and their record of supporting projects that are to benefit Port Charles at the expense of selling out one of the oldest neighborhoods in this city. Now, I would imagine that the mayor and his city hall boys are a little upset at me because I opposed the construction of the C.S. Emporium by one Damian Smith. I opposed it and I won. I'm happy to stand here before you today and tell you that Damian Smith's application for a site has been denied. <laughs> now, if we want to talk about mob connections, I think that we can start by examining very closely Mr. Smith's lineage. But you see, that seems to be all right with the mayor and company. That's all right with them. They would much rather a young rabble-rouser like myself be tossed out on his ear and, and he can further allow bloodsuckers like Damian Smith to feed on the life of this community. Well, I'm here to tell you that so long as I am in office, that will not happen. I take a pledge that I'm going to rid this town of vipers like Damian Smith. All right. So, how do I plan to rid this community of vermin like Damian Smith? Well, I begin with my constituents. Including Sonny Corinthos. Excuse me again, Councilman, but it's no innuendo that you're associated with an alleged gangland kingpin. Well, once again, I believe that the... The operative word is alleged, Miss Bowles. Are you implying that you're no more guilty of the allegations against you than Sonny Corinthos is? No, what I'm saying is that Mr. Corinthos was brought before a grand jury which found no true bill. In other words, there's no proof of any illegal connections. But you did represent him. I accompanied a man during his arrest to assure him in due process, much as I would for you or anyone else in this room. Has he thanked you with a contribution to your campaign? If you're implying that I'm on Mr. Corinthos' payroll, the allegation is false. He has not engaged me as his counsel or in any other capacity. Yeah, but you just pledged to drive Smith out of town. Wouldn't that be advantageous to Corinthos? Do you consider that to be a fact or an innuendo? If Damian Smith has to face a federal investigation, aren't they likely to turn up more about his association with Sonny Corinthos? And yours? Yeah. Look, I think that to begin Isn't with... Isn't it true that, complete... that your father, the late Reverend Bradley Ward, was also facing charges of corruption during his tenure of service on the city council? My father faced allegations of impropriety. Among them infidelities. Isn't that so? Isn't that what made him pray to the blackmailer who ultimately caused his death? Look, uh, if you would like to address your questions to the issues and I'll be happy to answer them after I finish my statement. 
but I'm not going to allow this to degenerate Are you into... aware that the mayor has been quoted as saying that you will do or say anything to protect yourself? Well, what the hell do you expect him to say, Ms. Bowles? He's up for re-election this year. He wants me out of the picture so that I can't expose him any further. You keep bringing up the mayor, but all I noticed was you dodging questions about your father. You never gave me Maybe a chance to answer them. Runs in the family. Ms. Jackson, let me tell you a few things about my family. I think we can all agree that this is no longer productive, so we will be stopping now. Thank you again for being here today. Don't forget to pick up your copies of Councilman Ward's statement on your way out. A statement that you could have heard him complete if you hadn't been so intent on crucifying him. Good afternoon. Are you still sure that you don't want my help? No, what I would like to do is drive a stake through Damien Smith's heart. May I quote you on that, Councilman? Boy, for a guy named Lucky, you're having a loud today. I don't get it. I was, I was way ahead, now I'm in the whole 976 bots. <laughs> I'm afraid that's the extent of your credit. Unless you come up with dough. Right. Well, I just need a little time. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I hate to remind you, kid. It's a grown-up game. You buy in, you act grown-up. Meaning, you lose, you pay, pronto. Same as we did. Come on, Harper, you, you gave me time last time. True. I didn't know I'd be encouraging a bad habit. Wonder what mom and pops would say if they knew their son was welching. Hey, I'm not welching, okay? I, I mean, I lost, I'll pay, you know? I mean, my parents shouldn't have anything to do with this. I, I just need a little time, okay? Just need a little time. Hey. No problemo. I will give you until 8 o'clock tonight. the campaign did justice knock him dead oh you know politics man whatever i'm sure it wasn't the kickoff of the campaign that they expected but it was pretty good as a piece of theater i'm sure we'll see it on the tube and read about it in the papers tomorrow okay oh, oh you must have done something right then you know dad i um i, I plan to do my part for the campaign you do yeah i mean i will it's just um i just pile on the homework Really? Well, you ought to take lessons from your mother. She can teach you how to spread yourself really, really thin. All right. <laughs> oh, uh, where's, where's Mom now? Uh, she's picking up Lulu next door. But as soon as they get here, I'm afraid we're going to have to dig in, do some major spin control on the candidate. Looks like a long, boring evening. Mm -hmm. Dad, how do, you, how do you go about spin control? It's all on the wrist, son. <laughs> ah, I, um, I might have to go out tonight, okay? Lucky, it's a school night. It's almost that o'clock. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, actually, it's, it's about school, Mom. Emily has a book I need. Well? Why don't you call her and tell her to have Reginald drive it over? I mean, what's a butler for, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Hello? 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 H
Hello? Uh, yes, he is. Is it an animal? No, it's an adult. Someone named Harper? Oh, Mr. Harper. Yeah, he's, he's a teacher of mine. Oh, yeah. Um, hello, Mr. Harper. It's after eight. Where's my money? Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm sorry. I uh, I may need an extension on that paper. <sighs> you think pretty quick on your feet, kid. But the only paper that interests me is the one I'm looking at. An IOU with your name on it that better translate into cash tonight. I, I understand. I know. And, um... I know it's my responsibility, and I'll, I'll take care of it. You got till midnight. And if you don't deliver by then, I'm afraid I'm just going to have to come by myself and collect. 